Sam's turn to pick. Pretty Sam dance. No one's worried about cheese me, but I think it's just a uh, wants to get the um, the annoyances out. I mean, Five Underlord, we've seconds. seen how much of an impact he's had just in our series. 100% uh, picked or banned does have a 100% win rate in the games he was played, which is three of four. Um, yeah. Okay. yeah, not not wanting to deal with the pesky. But no clinks banned. So let's see if they first pick it like yesterday. Oh no, it was. Uh, TKP who had it first picked yesterday. But hell, they've seen it, so maybe they decided to take it for themselves. Box did have it banned against the by TKP. Venomancer. That's probably a four in my opinion. The I mean Dying it's it was, yeah. Venture Maybe an There's Arc Warden coming. The Arc Venge combo is always a very strong one. Uh, for you playing it in the safe lane. If anyone's been watching the recent Amiga League, Nigma has been pulling seconds. out that uh, combo quite a lot. The extra stats in the lane, the extra uh, range that you have to be able to stun and then swap people. It's a very good combo in with Arc Slow. And his burst damage when he has the, uh, the Spark Race up. That's passive. Radiant must and I know, I know that uh, Dinkleman is an arc player. So. Arc cool. That's a safe, okay. Let's just have a classic back event. 10 seconds is his dive's ban. <laughs> oh, is it? Arc yep, there it is. <laughs> Seems like someone's been watching the same games as me. <laughs> Actually, yes. oh. not necessarily. I know um, that they uh, they do play it in the uh, mid lane, at least uh, Dinkleman does, but as the trend lately Five has been, it has seconds. been a safe lane hero it as well. Really Don't uh, see any. That can be true. Ban of him. Dyer's turn to ban. Yeah. Spec ban, spec art. Chances of seeing the. It is Radiance ban. Um. Uh. Yeah, I, I will say this. I know the uh, Kuka is very comfortable on his wind, uh, is one of his favorite heroes, but the uh, I know this for a fact. Dinkleman doesn't, if he's against a wind in mid with an arc warden, he's completely fine. So I don't think they'll ban an arc here uh, on the side from Fox, but I, I'm not too sure if uh, Omen's gonna go straight for the pick though. Uh, I just, I, 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 I don't know. Ten seconds. I abandon. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's what I do first. <laughs> I am not playing this game right now. Ah, man. Banning lane. Turn about. Brown, go for me. Radiance turn to ban. CB ban. Very much. Specific support picks or three massively unusual. Ten seconds. Hmm. Five seconds. Yeah. See, it's the same trend as uh, we saw in game one. All of the late game here is in the second phase being bound out. And I, I was going to mention that the AM would be a key band. For Omen. Uh, not caring about the Venom, not caring about the Oracles, just two of their heroes gone. 
and because the void is already banned, they have to come up with some other way to address it. So it's a good ban from their side. Axe, that's a that's an interesting one. Ten seconds. Not very meta at the moment. Mars more picked up for that sort of tanky. Five Mars or Doom seconds. being picked up for more of your tanky offlaner. So. Mm. Especially with the control you get, the slow, so Mars ult into the gale and the ward's just that constant slow. Oh, God. You get that little... F oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Although, on the side of Mars, they do have the Venge, so it would be very easy to save one of their cores if they do get caught solo. So, maybe not... Maybe not what they're thinking to go for here. Yeah. Must choose. I like this. That's good. Like a yeah. good. Good spells already. So now it's it's. Some... Ten seconds remain. Highly fight. Five yeah. seconds. Turn to pick. <laughs> that's fine. That's that's fine. No. Oh. Going to melt. I wonder if they might do an aggro trial lane with the Veno Ten Oracle and they won. Leave the Brussels solo. Could be an Five option. Because that's it's a, such a strong trial lane that they have to bring someone else down. Can't just go, no, it's fine, leave it a two on one against the bristle. They did run a trial lane, uh, both Fox and TKP in their second game on Thursday. Uh, they ran a trial lane top, but yeah, before the. <laughs> before load shedding people, and then. <laughs> <laughs> but it uh, wasn't going too well for their bottom lane, although it was a very unfavorable matchup. It is Dio's ban. They wanted that ring. There we go. Tina played safe. I also. Ten seconds. Fine of his. Five seconds. It is Radiant's oh. man. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Ah, all right, gyro ban. Dyer's turn to ban. Radiance turn oh, this to is ban. Still up. This is still up. A good way to fight into the bristle. Although it is really not like playing against a razor though. Omen, yeah. Ten seconds. Five seconds. All of them are gone. Spectre, AM, TB, Gyro, Slock, Void, PA, who's left? Jug. That's it. Do so. Ooh. That's Fox. 
Ten seconds. I, I mm, Fox, I'm not too sure. Again, Five it's it's the seconds. thing they ran into their first game where they're having these two hard carries, like a Spectre and a Morph. Stick one of them mid, it doesn't really solve your problem. Both of them still have to farm. Although the Arc Warden can be the one to go uh, bots and then push lanes instead of sitting in jungle. Hmm. I mean, what about a DK for Omen, honestly? Because you have the Bristle, you have a DK, and then Razor just sucks whichever one of their pos one or two's got the most damage. One of them's out, and then they run them down with the stuns and the slow. Would would be nice for an extra stun as well, because currently they have nothing. They only have the root from... Radiance turn to pick. I, I think you see what the lane is going to be. Monkey. Yeah. Fine with that, yeah, yeah. So raise a mid. That's true. Yeah. Ten seconds. Five seconds. The deuce is not bad, but <laughs> actually looking monkey would have been very good for Fox now. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't they want to put the Viper against... No? Viper's safe lane. Well, assuming that they're sticking with their lanes. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Actually, I'm not too sure if, um, if their positions are locked, but Madef is not normally a POS1. POS1 is normally the side of Incastrated, which is on the Veno. Ooh. This is true. I don't think they're going to... Look at drums build. Me and man. Maybe, I don't know Matt if that well, maybe it's one of his uh, comfort picks and he just wants to go, come on, let's give it. Oh, I'm sure. 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 Um, it's hard to say. There's a side of monkey in the bristle. They don't necessarily want to go late against us. Uh, uh, I, I, I never. It's, it's sort of the same thing as a spectre, you know. Uh, late game Dota Plus loves them too. So you really gotta just watch out. Time for preparation is short. Use it but, uh, we shall see. Good luck for the funds coming out. Ward for mid, and I'm gonna see him. Friends, Ward let for us the skirmish. Ah, uh, Venno has it. Oh. Okay, I'm okay, Dick Shodor. I want sure. Sure. It's the Kaya Dushka. Especially having that Viper counter on the bristle, it's it's gonna be fun late game when you can always get maybe a roll down and get the slow from the spitting. Not gonna be fun for the bristle. Queued up a blade mail though, so 
Maybe that's the answer. Why not? Absolutely perfect. Uh, we were expecting to see it. Stop this man. Bottom nothing much. Not taking the sun first from Rubik. Until the fade ball. The stun on. Okay. Finishes the stun. But Finish doesn't grab the room. Right. Uh, what's happening? Down bottom. Hide going. There we go. The tower actually popping this. Oh no, he's not doing it. Well, that's that. 1 0, GG. Next guy. <laughs> yep. Called it. I love this. This is this is content for me, boys. This is constant fighting. They've just been trying to steal Nigma strats here. Hey, if it's <laughs> if it works, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> Ooh, this Korea though does get it, but won't die. Wand. Ooh, this is horrible. Oh. Gotta use the one. No. My gold. Did not to. You make a right pin cushion. He had the seven one charges, opted not to pop it. Uh although I did have the poison on him as well, so I probably would have ticked down afterwards regardless. A lot of the cool stacks on him. Mid lane. Again, lay last one, that can be on. I see now Jeff opting for the mid lane. Instead, catch that. I got the I got the arc safe lane. Oh. Arc one, right? Spark Wraith, that'll hit him, and that should be dead. Yeah. yeah. Enough regen there. <laughs> no, not stopping. Spark Wraith Flux. One is gonna be able to save him. Not in range of the Spark Wraith there. Never mind, I spoke too early. My god. <laughs> What I want to I want to see from the tide is more levels in this uh, Kraken shell because the quills are the physical damage. Uh, he is able to uh, purge off all of the stacks as soon as he takes a bit too much, so it does prevent the diving there. Again, Oracle having a fun time. 
Let's ooh, venge on the tower though. This is that's dead. Oh, the one. And save it. Sacrifice a tech core if they deny him. That's deny him. Rune, spot on Brussels gonna be picked the one. And uh should get to the top none of them gone yet. That shook out two. Yeah. Lots of wards on the side of the Oracle. Trees two. I did plant that one up in the range of the other, so that should be rewarded soon. We're going on the monkey again. Uh, spark growth follow, and that should be dead. Another one. Uh, that's dead. The regen from the tango. Stronger. Good. Oh. Uh, why did he call? Unseen energies. That one there. But sounds good enough. That is a big bounty on that arc quarter, and that should be taken down unless I manage to deny. Five bounty going the way. Can't get any rebuttal. Matter of getting the Jingu stack decks up, the route to follow. Not enough damage. Gonna be denied at least. Yeah, it's just gonna deny him. If he even gets there, that's fine. I need the poison sting left. Top, wanna fight for this bounty? Uh, damage being stolen, ulti out, but that is gonna be too much from the Viper. Top plane. Do not be selfish. Ooh. And the top sort of razor too. <laughs> Not on the net, Twerth though. Twerth Bristle is right at the bottom. <laughs> He's sitting at 1 9 with the arc at 3 4 there, so. Yeah. Life is prison. You are free. Can't catch anyone.
We see the Midas already coming out for the Arc Wardens, but that is a very early Midas there. Yep, another. I mean, he's gonna have his boots now if he gets this off. Can be enough. Yeah. <laughs> CS lol up. Look to their bottom tower. I just want to be able to get the Jingo stacks first and the step. Let's see if they get this 300 gold. They should commit for it. That's a free double Midas there, boys. No? No one on it? You gonna take the damage from him instead? And uh, that's the Veno dead. Should be. Yep. Lost them there. On the Oracle, stun to follow from Monkey. He's gonna try and commit for the kill, but that is gonna cost him. And uh, Monkey can't get anything returned. This is also gonna be something good. Right here. Yep. The dead monkey. Killing spree. Yep. Kill. Lift from the Rubik used. Hello. Uh, is gonna deny. Yep. Not working out too well here. Yeah. Venno against the trial lane. I thought it would I thought it would be alright. With all of that tick damage it does stack up over the end. Prevailing. This is mid lane going, let's see. 48 to 28 to 39-19, so a little bit ahead on the side of the razor on the CS. Uh, and the gold side's kind of gold side. Gold side actually by 300 that is probably due to the kill a little bit earlier this viper was able to get out ahead there top lane it's <laughs> just uh. Roots saving him, called back. I think Dinkum is just gonna opt to TP out here. Can't do that. Oh, he doesn't have a TP. Oh no. That's a mistake there. They think they think he's gone out. I just noticed the Rubik actually had the false promise stolen there. And there we go. A matter in the end. Three bottom, they were, over, were able to pick up the likes of the Bristleback. Uh, more, more tips coming out. Is on the, uh, <laughs> what would be the grand finals of TI today. So, uh... So only taken off the damage from one of the Rock Wardens, but, but enough magical damage from the Dyer's Spark Rex for Flux, another magic missile, and did it. TED is the face of the Rift of Rest P. It's taken a lot of damage. It does get to another die. That's three now on this side. Friends, let us finish. Do not be selfish. Friends, 
Heading into the tide, but Tide's got a lot of the sustain here. Easily purging off the bristle stacks as well as the goose. Does have the Vlad's finish, so that's helping them out quite a bit to do. One always coming into the value against the bristle lane. Radiance bottom tower is in danger. This is. Radiance Bit of a tricky one here for Omen. They have to try and figure out a way back into this game because this Arc Warden is only going to be getting stronger now that he has the double Midas. Uh, opting to go for the Maelstrom before the bot, so let's get a bit more uh, farm done. Bottom lane though, Ravage coming out from the time. Off the Bristle with the break, that's a dick hit. See if they can get into the Razor. Yeah. But, yeah. Might be able to get the Viper though, not much mana to help him out. Perseus has seen that though, the Root would have really come in handy there. Dyer's top that is a bit odd, under but uh... Got no... no stress. Good. Bottom again. Ben and I opting to leave the top, leave the Arc Warden. The jungle though, Venge is able to spot out the monkey. It's gonna hop away to the creeps. Farm up a bit. Opting for a Deso first. Opting for a Deso, yeah, Deso first, yeah. I'm curious about that as opposed to Echo Saber, Echo Saber. Maelstrom, anything. I mean, Not the, the Deso isn't bad on the monkey, he hits very hard once he has the drink, but it is just... Uh, I prefer something that would give them a bit more catch, a bit more control, so the likes of the Echo Saber into a BKB, or even a Shadow, they'd be able to close the gap uh, like you would with the Echo. Especially given that you have this uh, Arc Warden and you want to be able to keep him close by as much as you can. Bristle going onto the Arc. I mean, to be fair, you are going to be hurting Ark and Venge yes. with the Deso. They are, they are going to be very, very sore with the Deso, but I mean, I just like Echo more personally. Yep. So let's see how it works. Mm. It does give you the regents, so maybe he's uh, thinking he doesn't need much of that, so... An opt to go for a bit of a... Uh, it's going to hit harder. So, well, travel's picked up now, and... Is he looking to just be everywhere on this map? Mm. Much as possible, I guess. Yasha on the... Yasha with Razor, going for yours next as well, after for that, as Bristles just following with Ancients here. Quite a... Quite a lull, we do see... Four... Of Radiant sitting around there mid tower -ish. Three coming towards... Dyers. Curious to see if they're gonna have something on this. I mean, the Arc Warden here is happy with this. He can yeah. do this all day. No pressure for him, he's sitting with a double Midas. Level 12, happy to farm, got his Maelstrom up, got his travels in 400. He can do this all day. Tide also picking up a lot of good farm now. Particularly for Evans, so either for the monkey or the razor, very good pick there. It's such a nice item. Venge scouting out Oracle in the bottom lane, yeah. Well, in the river, rather than me. Yeah. So they might want to do this. We do see two more coming down the river, on the likes of Viper and Rubik. Could close out the see him. They don't. The bench might be gone. I've seen to stun the Oracle. Perhaps to stop the. That's. Uh, Ravage oh. not gonna hit. But I'm gonna look at the That should be a hit there. Oracle gives his life. Here's the way it is. Middle tower is under attack. <sighs> so, Ark again, picking it up, moving ahead in that net worth. Top three, yeah, he's coming out from Fox. The Tide sitting second there above the Viper. Dyer's he's really, really. Is under uh, <laughs> yeah, doing a backstroke. But... Dyer's 
should We're gonna be taking out this bottom tower. This bottom tower is no more. Uh, Omen not being able to get their own first tower yet. Between four Yules next, however, they're in the triangle. Oh. <laughs> Rubik able to steal that, no? Oh? That should help! Wukong's coming out, he has to stun him, you gotta keep him up in the room. And have map up. Mistake there, we'll have to change Jingu. Oh no, he was broken, so didn't get the Jingu, but... Still, Wukong in, was that able to bring him down. Let's throw a bit more, that does swing the gold advantage a bit. Way back down now. Ray the passing the Viper now. It's opting for the Yule Scepter next. So wants to have a bit more control, be able to snap the damage a bit longer. Uh, still, I mean, it's 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 a thing against the Arc Warden. Is yes, you can take the the main or the replicate damage all the way, but he's still got that second one. So as long as he pops it before that damage is gone, uh, you can have a bit of an issue in reducing the damage. So might opt just to do it on the Viper or the Tide. Ideally the Viper, but again, poison damage coming up from there, so it's, it's a win-lose-lose situation there. Middle. It's been going up, swap, fall on top of him, break there, and that is dead. The Viper becoming in so, so clutch there, it's destroying his game if he's caught in that endotoxin. It is, thanks for coming Bristol, but only the Silver Edge. Again, this tide, this tide is having a great time as well. I mean, Vlad's up, he is 300 away from his halberd. He is not worried about this at all. Just put the use on this Razor. Swap coming in in mid lane, range of the stun, range of the scale out. Fortune's end coming out is doing big damage to purifying flames. That break hitting them, it is insane. Having to pop up a false pump there. I should save him. No issues there. And you know where our coordinate is the whole time? Bombing it up. Don't worry. Ooh. I'll see you guys in 8 minutes and I will 5v1. No problem. 1v9 if I need. This is... I just don't see monkey trading farm even remotely as quickly. And net worth throwing it, that's the way as well. Desa is finished though. He's going for the BKB next, so... I want to be controlled up during the fight by the Venge or the Rubik. He's taking a lot of the, the arcs damage with him. Oh, Blade Mill, race. sorry about that. Blade Mill recipe picked up by Bristle. The sword. Not a, not a fan personally, but maybe it was the gold he had as a buyout. Yeah. He, has, he does have the broadsword now if he chooses to just pick it, but. Let's have the thousand gold. Mm. There we go. So maybe, uh, yeah, there we go. He's under attack. Viper, Tired, and Venge going for a trip. Try and find someone, but was scattered out. So Oracle just gonna head out of there. Under the nice to hear. I like the Glimmer Cape on the Venge. It's an extremely OP item. I swear we got this yesterday as well. <laughs> see if it actually come comes to fruition exactly. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Flame Mail is picked up nicely. I mean, Ark is just able to farm this triangle. Mjolnir up. He's got his illusion pushing top lane. This is just exactly what they want. MKB next. More damage. Just coming out. So as we say, Ooh, that is huge damage. Zap onto the Rubik, taking all of his life with him. Vine's gonna opt to go into the Bristle first, but does not have any right click. He's gonna go down. Arc Replica coming in. Oh, no, it's gonna be the Oh, no. Monkey not able to get off of Wukong's. They should sure to kite this out. I think, no, he's a big boy, but I think you can kite this out with two of you. Mm -hmm. I'll be very careful about that. That's the heavens up. Yep. Pops and there, that, that damage down. reduction did take the anchor smash reduction as well, so not doing anything right now, Monkey. Oh, he's Monkey is running out of his Wukongs. Yeah, he's gotta go. Avenger no, Legion is in the middle. Get out of there, Monkey. No, leave the fish. Yep. Big fish, man. Oh, tip's man. coming out. Tide able to 
Like we say, have that extra farm. Be nice and tanky. <laughs> and just purges everything off. Just, just, just nice. Nice. Thanks. Spend more mana on me, Ooh, please. Viper coming out. Plague was stolen again. The Viper wants this. He's looking for his orchid. Still got quite a way to go until he gets there. Oh, oh the range. They're able to get the ult off. My gosh. Oracle's gonna be sweating there for later on. Alright, I, I prediction. Uh, if I'm fuck here, just TP bottom on top. Keep pushing side lanes. There we go. TP bottom, double minus up. Just farm away. No one's contesting me. Oh. Range is sacked. Tired. Fish gets another kill. Yeah, he's got what, 300 to got that um, blink up. Okay, they Would not mind seeing a blink, to the blink ravage. If they, if they manage to combo the Ravage with a, a very nice break from the Viper and then just all the spark face in the world, it's going to be pretty tough. But on the same side, if it is done in the Monkey's Kong with the Venil, that's also very tough to run into. So both of them wanting to get out the aerial, though, I feel Fox has a bit more of the chase side. Yeah, so I they, think they can. They can just running from step them. out of the monkey ult, step, uh, run away from the Venno. But, Quick TP, uh, TP top cancelled that very quickly as monkey dropped down with his uh, spring. Pushing up bots. We see, we see one of the illusions going. Will be able to find anything there in the creep. Finds a little. Top two onto the Venno. Razor starts on the the Viper is a good choice, but a lot of damage coming through. That breaks go. And big rabbit coming in. Follow. Catches Arif on the side as well there. There he is. gonna die. In comes Kena crew. Could get a carrier on the way. Oh, up to not to kill the carrier. Not taking I right. oof. I think there were kills oh. missed there. They're gonna make it out, Bristol and the Arif will make this out quite nicely. Oh no. Monkey. Oh no. Tree was cut by the time, but... He's done, he's oh. good, he's good. Tree down, please nerf. <laughs> Jeez. You're making me sweat. Nearly has the BKB done, so... A couple hundred gold will be able to fight a lot easier. But this Ravage is... Proving key now. Now the Arc just coming in at the end of the fight. Clean up clear. I'd lane. like to see... I would like to see... Die now. I mean, just coming and fighting now. They know Ravage is down. Dyer's yeah. bottom tower is there under attack. isn't much space for them as is. You see, I mean, this Arc Warden is pushing this tower down solo. Dyer's they were two in their jungle. Fortified. I just worry they're not gonna get back into this game at all. Yeah. Top lane. You see Razor TP, top lane? It's fine. Just trading far out of it. <laughs> I, I, Three wards in the in Iron Fox's jungle, very close together. That one radiant ward is denying all of that vision for them. Actually, there we go. We see it happening right now. Blink up. Just kills. Does get purifying flames. Does get fortune zones rather, and then flamed. It's just constantly buffs, but I don't see them killing anybody. BKB picked up by the monkey. I. What's the what's the win condition here actually? If you're dire, how how do you take this fight? Um, it's hard. It it really is hard. Everyone needs to have the BKBs up. They have to save it to be not uh, killed by the tire. But that that's hard because they'll have to use it to not be stunned by the Ven, the Rubik, and then Tyke could just sit and wait. He, he doesn't have to pop it right at the start. They have other ways of starting the fight with a swap with the Rubik. Uh, Steal even a root. He manages to steal it from the oracle and come in very clutch. Not sure if we said anything, but uh, there's an NKB up on this arc. Yep. So, so that's gonna that's gonna hurt. The chat respond. It might be a bit too slow. I mean, Ravage is back up. Here we go. They're waiting time for these fights. If he blinks and Ravage is here, he's gonna have a big LT. I'm not too sure, I'm a bit lost there. Only the arc left, but he's gonna be run down now. Oh, 
Yeah. They don't get the outpost. No, I was a bit opting to take the outpost instead of the fight there. That was a bit odd. Oh, we see some tips, tips coming. We see some tips returned. <laughs> tips returned. <laughs> I will note, I mean, hey! this Bristleback is opting to go for, I believe this is a Slurred Assault now. And then into the Octarine Corp. So wants to have a bit more of the spell lifesteal, as I do have the break on him, so... I like a Lotus. another way to be able to stay alive. I like a Lotus. I think a Lotus is good. I mean, that, that tier 2 just cost you guys a full team wipe and a tier 1 mid. It didn't, it didn't need to. Yep. And now we see all three cores from Omen above the Viper now. It's, it's yeah, that is that was a turnaround there. You look, it's still it's not not the end of all at all. They can grab some bounties here for themselves. Slight, slight net worth lead. A lot of it is resting on that Arc Warden. Yeah. But that fight did help that monkey and raise up quite a lot. It's actually all the Arc Warden. If you take away his advantage, you know, the monkey, that's, that's the whole That's it, network. yeah. <laughs> Maybe going for that, Maybe going for that Basher as we see the laughing <laughs> emotes coming out. Going for the Basher next. Doesn't have a TP on him yet, not worried about that. Gonna wait this fight out. I mean, but again, you're sitting on Vega Fox, you're saying, don't worry. 40 seconds ravage, we can fight again then. Farm it up, enjoy yourselves, a little pressure on you, we'll respond in the meantime to farm him up. Yeah. Mark Warden says, no problem. Hurricane Pike, gonna be queued up next. He's got his illusion pushing in that bottom lane. I mean, that fight went poorly, but I still think they're gonna be in a commanding position. I mean, here, yeah, they're responding too slowly to this tower, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of room to put in. Missed out in the gold as well. But again, none of them, uh, they have two bots on the side of uh, uh, Fox, so on the Ark and on the Venom, I mean, the Viper, apology, is able to get around into the... F Monkey does have the Basher finished. So does that Sentry see that ward? That uh, is just in line. Just, I think that was on Ooh. it. Yeah, that was exactly on it there. Nice. Monkey no CP, making me a bit nervous. <laughs> He's under vision right now. If they were to push that bottom tower, he would have to hop a lot of trees to get there. They do see him. They do scout him out. They want to go for this? Question. Or just finishing. Dips. They might want to set up for Roche here next. Is able to take it fast. I think we might see an Echo Saber completed on Bristle back here, just running it off. There it is. Lotus Robin. Echo Saber. <laughs> yep, definitely a lineup for Bristle. They're pinging out this rush they wanted. Both sides often too much towards them. Ooh, they find the monkey. Does use the BKB. Is he going to pop the Wukong? There's a BKB. Please. No. Did not too. Does. Found a strike yeah, stolen there. That's, that's a very good fun one to see. That just increases the chain stun they have so much. Being able to keep the uh, bristle inside a bit of break. Stop the monkey chopping the trees. Keep the. Razor away from uh, zapping your damage from your Viper. Very good pick. Is opting for BKB next, so... I mean, not going to help him much, honestly. It isn't going to help him as much as the BKB on the Monkey and the Razor is. Is the Zap I'd like through? to see... Yeah, I, I, so I cut you off there. I'd like to see the Hurricane Pike picked up first. Get out of where we can't see recording. Just save everybody. Pick one, pick one and one. If you get a one-on-one -on -one fight, pick them off, grab them. But I mean, look, maybe you know something we don't just yet. It, never necessarily a bad item, you know? We'll be most gonna save him and whatnot. This Implore, Implore on this monkey. That procs every single first hit in his Wukongs, yes? Or I is it not the case? I'm not sure. I think, I mean, it should. I think it does apply the crit. I mean, I'll keep an eye out we can see, but I think it does. I'm actually not sure because I know the Maelstrom doesn't print inside among you. So... The armor reduction from Deso is a bit different. Oh, that roots onto the Arc and stopping him from going bottom to get to the tower. Illusion should be able to get it. Yep, he is able to go up there before it times out. Monkey trying to go on the tide, just blinks out, no issues. Preemptive purge coming as well. I mean, they've got vision in this tide jungle, top jungle of theirs. They do not want Fox in there. 
I'm looking at the side of this razor being very, very farmed up here. Gonna have the S and Y completed soon. They're uh, giving them the space. They're giving them the space. They were, they were ahead. They were doing really, really well. Fox, they are still, don't be wrong, but they've given a lot of space this monkey. He's now sitting second in net worth. Granted, still a good 6k, 7k behind the arc, but I mean, they've given them space to come back into this. They were at a proper, proper power spike in that 20 to 30 minutes window. I think they could have perhaps gotten a bit more, even if it was just map control, just sort of choked them out a little bit from this in game entirely, but not looking bad by any means. The fellow pinging the monkey king at the ancient camps. Second time it's happened now. <laughs> Get away from my farm monkey. Ball's coming out. We'll see now. Friends! I wouldn't let I'm starting to see, uh, we were talking earlier, the, and I said myself actually, uh, what, what takes it that Friends, they, uh, Omen is able to skirmish. win this? What's their win condition? I said, they don't have much, but see how much the BKBs has an effect now. Now that Razor and Monkey has them picked up. It's helping a lot, and as you saw from that previous fight, I don't know if it was bad decision or bad call or bad move or anything like that, but uh, maybe it's just Omen playing well. Let's just let's just go with that. Yeah, no, they're, they're I... able to read the game, see where their advantage lies, and uh... stop. No, I think they yeah, bought them. I think they bought themselves a nice amount of time. Yeah, I think I think they did it smart. They mm -hmm. saw the second we see three or four in mid, just get back. If we lose, if we lose a little bit of vision through tower, it's so be it. It's better than losing tower and two heroes. Yes. Go farm elsewhere, make space. We we know we lost that lane with Arc Warden quite hard. He dominated us there, but we can still redeem it. Doesn't need to be 15 minutes. Okay, well, lane's been badly. This is over. Yeah. They've made space nicely. They've kept their vision up, and sure, they've expended a lot of vision in their top jungle, but they haven't received much pressure in that bot lane from Echo, mm. uh, from Wee Get Fox rather. I yeah, I like it. I think it's BKB is obviously being massive. I think it's going to come down to slow in team fights, so slow pickoffs or itemized pickoffs. If you're playing. Fox, you've got to take Oracle out. Really. <laughs> you, you simply cannot afford to have any one of those heroes get, uh, get um, false promised. It's going to be t potentially fight losing. Um, and on the side of, are you checking that? Out? Oh, that's okay. Really on the side of Omen's Fox. I like, I like that. It. I really like that. S and Y already yeah, finished. So S and Y Titanic. Yep. Yep. Not gonna be standard much long flux less time less slow from the yeah no this is good. Smoke some out and they just scanned. Oh yeah we go. Ooh. I thought they were in the rush, they were just passing by to come and get them. Grave swap, BW Bucks. Oh he's been taken out the bathroom is huge. The ravage gonna be good old from monkey being able to catch him in the back. Good stone to do those five. Or oh, he is able to get out, but that's a bit off. False promise for Ravage. Oracle himself, Ravage through, Bristle, Kareem with the Viper is able to kill him off. Nice. Just doing so much with the Anchor Smash. It does? Wait, the, hold on. Oh, that must have been through the False Promise. Bristle just chilling. Tied though. I mean, this. up by the Razor. Five steel on no the Razor, so not able to regen, but they might be able to get the Tide down here with the. The Quills does have the blamer on the bristles, so if they just let him tank it. The Vangel is doing a lot though. Good up here, I just no, think I think this thing. Tide is gonna be Tide's done for Good, well played there. There you go, it's a full five man. he's gotta stay alive. Full five man wipe in there for them. Uh, there we go, Octarine Core. Nearly done from uh from Bristle, and he needs the point through select. Are gonna try and pop this Roche now before the Rubik and the Venge come. But yeah, no, I don't think they can contest this. No, I don't think you are sacrificing it. You said, okay, they probably rush this one, it's unlucky. Grouping a little bit strangely there, they group very tightly. We've got some on, caught three to four of them in one go. That is quite tightly knit, it would have been a bit better with spacing, but well caught there by I mean, That was very, very nice by Owen. The man uh, saying what to do with the BKB up straight for the arc. Uh, yeah, it was a very, very good ulti there from high ground. I mean, they were fighting without anything on high ground. Yep. Was was very quick nice response that worked out nicely for them there. So this is going to be the first rush. Ooh, 
level it picked up from the bend. So that's going to go similarly onto the Arc Warden, and that means your towers have a very short life expectancy. Then you get on the monkey as well. Very nice item of him as well. Yeah. I like it. 4k HP with 26 armor. That is. <laughs> that is very nice. With the Jingu lifesteal, with the uh, Vanguard protection, it's it's a lot of uh, your effective HP. What I want to see from them now is Omen taking the fight to them. I know they yeah. still don't have Ravage, so it's going to be back up a little bit. But uh, they points. smoke up and they go. You've got your new points on, you've got a Princess Knife, you've got a free smoke on your monkey. Go for it, get some vision up there, Junk. We'll start controlling this map a bit more for yourself. Yes. You, yes. You've got to be feeling confident after these last two to three fights. You've been... Sure, you've been losing two to three, but you've been clearing all five of the enemies. It's been quite successful. Ooh. Level it picked up for Bristle there as well. Obviously not going to be used by him. Who do you put this on it? Eh? Uh, I, I would put the leveler on the Razor. Spell Prism on the Bristle. Okay, Monkey's wanting the... What level. about... So maybe Razor wanting yeah. to tank up a bit more. Give Ra Ooh, Razor has the Princess. Ooh. I call it Princess. It's Princess, I know. I can't help calling it Princess Knife. Um, I will forever call it Princess Knife. I don't know why. The first day I read the patch, I was like, oh, Princess? It doesn't say Princess, but... Or, um, I would like to see... Well. <laughs> 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 I, I would like to see Razor take... Um, Ninja Gear. You give Venna the uh, Princess Knife, if anything. I mean, yeah, yeah, so I think that would. But I'm, they, they, a one point eight second cooldown on cool spray. I did, given nothing that like that was not have any of those attack speed items like a Mjolnir or an Echo. Ooh, Big damage. Four. Is there damage to follow up though? Spark rate. It's a follow. They want to get to the arc. Yeah, but to a monk or someone coming in. Poison over Kashi on two, Aegis down. There is some big damage coming up before my boy, my goodness. That's the one. To the Rubik from the monkey. Monkey DJB doesn't matter. Okay. He's going for it. Our is dealing damage, but now what? When they can't puff him that initial burst, what do they do? This is where I worry about their team fight. How do they out-sustain people like this person? 1.8 second cooldown. Oh, Chris, trying to get out of there. He's got a lead. He's big damage. Oh, no. He's done for. Bristle maybe gets the Bristle getting both. Does have this life steal, so he can go for it. Get the ultra, get the ultra. Go for it. Do it. One, oh, he has to dive, it. right? He's diving. He has the move speed, he has the stacks. No, go for it. Ah. Do the responsible. <laughs> Ooh, I'll come back there. I'm thinking I can take him in. I'm, the blade I'm staying. Blade mill's him. That blade mill's melting off and out. Ooh. Ooh. Those cross. <laughs> Turn your back. Turn your back. Use the Lotus, use the Lotus, it's gonna flux you. Use the Lotus. Here we go. He's using it now, well played. Uh, that raid's coming uh, out. I think he's making it up. Steal. He's good. Some life he's good. Ah, too much move speed there from his, uh, uh, what's it, the wall path. So that's a buyback from the arc. Not gonna get anything from it. How are you gonna keep this bristle back? You need a well, well, you gotta hit him, and you have to <laughs> hit him <laughs> enough that his life gets to zero. I mean, how they yeah, do that? It was that oh. <laughs> it's their game, I'm not playing, I'm casting. Why do you think I'm I'd here? I'd actually love to see a sheep, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm on the side of the screen? <laughs> oh gosh. But no, very well. I mean, it, look, it was a buyback. It was a buyback. Bristol did a lot of work there. How, how you, do you deal with him without a sheep stick or, I mean, Silver's Edge? I think you have to go for something like that. Well, I mean, that Viper Break should be able to, but if that, if they don't kill them in that initial burst, that Ravage, Fate Bolt's coming out, that quick damage, high, sort of high energy burst of Viper and Venus, ugh, Viper and Venus stuns and whatnot. Once top those lane. are all out... Ooh, top lane. Oh, top lane. They're going to be dying to the Ravage. Here we go. They mean how much damage you did there. That comes up. Top. The thing is, I don't think they mind. I, it's, it's just, it's an awkward one, but you know, it's like, ah, ah. Unfortunate, but you had to knock Gordon post 40 minutes. <laughs> Even the sorry, it's to be there. exactly. There you go. <laughs> I was, I'm laughing at my CME. It's uh, that's I'm, I'm the guy who gets laughed at. I'm the four or five. It's like, oh, cool. I'm like, oh, is it the wrong? No, no, it wasn't. It's a company to get you. I know, I know. <laughs> We've seen two. I mean, the thing is, this isn't this isn't giving them anything yet. He's able to steal the damage, which is something we did not think about initially. Good 129 cycling no, started. No, 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 Big no. damage. Don't do it. Oh, 
Frost Mom is barely saving. The Chris will get the gold there, I didn't see that. Ooh. He did get the gold. Ooh. Helping him 1k till he gets his heart. Okay, how are you killing him? So I do see we have got a Scotty up on this arc. Yeah. He's gonna help I, with that region. I but don't think again, it's enough. I, I'm I don't know about way. that burst man. Ooh, wait, hold up, as we're saying this. I'm gonna jump into the jungle. Four of them. Although they won't see four, they'll only see two. Don't need to worry too much about that. Oh, circle drawn there by Oracle. He's called that well there. Pretty there quite nicely. I wouldn't worry too much about this. It's 43 minutes. You don't need to worry about your outposts until 50 again. You've got a good six and a half minutes of, okay, just be careful type of thing, you know? They do have the Aegis There's though. no reason. I see it, I see it being used. Oh, I'm hallucinating. Yeah, I'm hallucinating. I'm yeah, hallucinating? Okay. Yeah, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> I've gone. Oh, please speak about the range of yes. the arc out as well. I mean, this, yeah. With the, oh no, with the aura. And the tw level 20 hundred attack range. <laughs> I mean, you got Venge aura with that telescope's aura. It is, they're attacking from sniper distance. Jaffa checking the rush pit, nothing there yet. It's gonna be quite some time. Minute 30 until May respawn. Did he run pit up? I would like to sit on Ark. I mean, he's near three hitting mm. people as is. Wouldn't mind seeing a one hit, but I mean, it's not the end of the world with a Viper either. He's also doing some big damage. Although the Razor is sucking the Viper every time. He's been controlling up that Viper, so all he has is the poison damage, which I believe the pipe from Venno. Yeah, it's just, it's completely nullifying that. Heart finished on Speaking the of Going nullifying. for a AC next, but I don't even slot for the AC. For enemies. He is going to um, use the I mean, I guess. Yeah. 1.8 second cooldown on the cool spray. 0.9 second. 0.9 second on the goo. He's going to have max movement speed with that. I, I'm, obviously, you look at the bristle and you look at his health and his armor, right? He's sitting at. Uh, so, 35, 35 armor. 35 to 38 armor. 4.5k HP, but check his damage. Five stacks, he's sitting up well over 400 damage there. What are we sitting up to? That's, what's that, 300, 410? 330, okay, it's, it's spiking up and down, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's with the wall pilot, it's insane. 204 bonus damage when he's on uh, 6. 38 when he's on 7, which is going to be most of the time now because he has so much regen in his mana. Get up, lads. Pump it up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. It's all green. 80%. So just... give, give, no, make one of the... Let's carry your items for you. Get up, lads, on one of them. Just do more damage. Bottom, the arc not doing do see... any damage there. Just the procs doing a little bit. But tower going. Holy. <laughs> Death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> That's pretty apt. Do you see the Ravages on cooldown again? It's not... Oh, yeah, look at the push high ground here. I worry about how they're going to defend this. This is going to be... If they don't, again though, if they don't burst him in those first, call it seven seconds of that fight, I think Dai is going to be able to take that fight yeah. and get a roach off of it, get vision back and march down mid to get themselves that tier two. Still have that tier one sitting top lane for them. Yeah. Just arc wanting to get these towers. That, that's 300 gold. Big gold. That Use still hurts, man. Yep. Uh, I'm seeing the eggs coming out from Monkey. Not opting to keep for buyback though, that's one of the things. Let's check the buyback status here. Buyback oh, points, yeah. Buyback's Oof, only, it's... ooh, actually none from Aya. Yeah. That is very, very, I mean, no. I, I sense a buyback. connection between us. Right and breathe. Yes, I raised it as well. I sense a connection for between us. Not, it's not too bad. Might be 1.2 away, but it is, he is also helping to get a Sane shirt and just change that off to a heart. Okay, he's still deciding what I just got here. As Inkleman's Arkham's full stop up high ground could be more gold given away here. Two seconds or a second, nicely done. No gold for you, Roach done. Resources expended and we're going to be taking Roach the whole time you're watching us. Yeah. Dinkerman gonna be taking the Aegis, but again, another Satanic, so that's gonna be three eventually. I don't know, the monkey's actually changed off it, but it leaves the Razor still going. Yep. But he's gonna be keeping his buyback. Doesn't have enough for the Claymore. But Roche down, and it seems they have no idea. 
They are fucking towards it. It's gonna be a little bit too late though. Please, I would assume. Okay, it's gonna go on Viper. Viper? I would yeah. like to see it on the tide, honestly. Although I guess he's not gonna be needing to use it until right at the end when they're chasing him anyway. All right there. Ah, there we go. Now he's chosen an item. Octarine for the Viper. Since okay. he is going to be lacking the physical, he's got to go all out in the medical department. Fair enough. Pick there. He's 48 minutes. Ah, there we go. Why would Razor have picked the leveler if he took the 80 attack speed at level 25? Ah. This extra 80 attack speed bonus. I mean, they killed, and it's Arc Warden with his range and his damage. It is, it is, it is ridiculous. Look at this. Look at the range. It is, it's, 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 it's a slight mistism. What is this? Ice Rock, what, what are you doing to us? Do you think they defend this? I think they do. Go, Hex out. Nothing to follow. Big Ravage. Ravage. Out big, big there. Ravage. Coming in. Massive. Razor, you just want to get it off. Monkey off going out. What's coming in? Oh, it's got the big ult. 25 more. They just stuck up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think they can kill him from inside. Warden yeah. sitting on the outside doing all the damage inside the connection magnetic field. This height does fall down. Perhaps they would have been right to have a choose on the third. Yes, this is true. Matters, man. I've been able to buy that. The beast inside incoming out. How are they actually going to kill them? This awful still has not lost the Aegis. They don't have Ravage anymore. We do see Art of Storm set up right now. Oh no, too much damage there. No, this Arc Warden has received some damage. Oh, he blinked into the, into the break. break. And the replicates just do vision. We'll see if, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a kill on top. Oh, here we go, raid boss, raid boss. Oh, Bristle back, raid boss. Here we go. What's happening? Aegis down. Good. He can go stay. Back videos, here you go. He's got heart pumping now. No, he's fine. They're gonna kill off the Viper. So a lot of buybacks expended there. There's two can Bristol catch up to him? Out of OP. Oh, actually, oh, gonna I think Bristol can catch this. him. Yeah, we can. There we go. He spells it off. Turn around. Blade Bell. Go up. No, spell one. Go up. Bad word is to dispel again now, but ooh, it's it's like that's a lot it's of damage. Off. You gotta turn that's your back, buddy. That's dead. Yep. Bristol does by the Avengers. Don't think it's low. He's making this good. He's yeah. good. Jeez. I, <laughs> These extremely long and engaged, long and what's the word I'm looking for here? Trying to keep up with everything that's going on as well. That monkey ring so big. He does have the axe finish too, so doing an extra amount when he's ever, whenever he's inside there. So we see how much damage that Arc Warden was doing all the way from the back. He doesn't care about this monkey ult. He's betting his career for some reason. <laughs> uh, the Reaver on it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Unfortunate there. It would have been a satanic. It would have been a spike. Four minutes back. Rabbit. 25. Buyback. Buyback. Oh, you need on top. Rubik is up as well. Uh, I think oh, yeah, it's going to be a lane of racks. I don't think they can do anything here. If, if the Viper is going to try and uh, run in, they're just going to stick to the south for that range, though. I just say the telescope is insane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, what is I have to zoom out here. <laughs> this is incredible. Bristle finished from the bristle, so opting not to go for the AC. Two bristles. I like it. Yeah. I like it because you can always get an AC up on this razor, the razor eventually if you want. He's just got a satanic completed now. Can sell that bottle. Get an AC up. That extra attack speed really doing the work. Well, make sure with that. What's what's Razor's last? What's he going? He go the AC. Razor. I, I, yeah. Give him the AC. AC or yes, yeah. AC, yes. I'm just talking about the head. Yonia, maybe? Does so attack a bit harder and a bit faster? I mean, the 80 attack speed, level 25. I, I think the big thing here, the, the, the red boss is going to be your bristle at this point. Keeping him going. And if you have an AC on top of that bristle, it's going to be even more scary. Big blink in there by Tide. He's yep. like, no escape now. South, that's Does she is on the half of heavens. All this damage going. In comes Monkey. Gosh. Has the Abyssal, but he does have the Abyssal, this could be dangerous here, he yep. could jump up on any one of them. Tide though, getting split up from the rest, so I think they're just going to focus him down here. Those are the Ace, the Crimson, so that's already gone. Monkey on, there, that's a bit. Venge trying to get the spot, but not to no avail. Let's in vain. Out of position, Razor dead though. The Arc would have been able to pick him off, this looks like a dead Venom as well. Leave 
the monkey can get out on top of this. Rubik gonna go down, monkey with a stun, looking attack. But here comes Bristle, here comes Bristle, what do you do? You can do anything against him. Monkey's gotta come back. That Lotus? There we go. Stun to follow. Oh, this is huge. Yeah, I think we might be the single GG. I know it's very early days, but I think that might be, that might be it. Yeah. Buyback is available on the Tard. And the Ark. Which, if he is, uh, dropped that telescope. On the Ark too, yes. Okay, and they're gonna have a ravage. They're pushing tier 4 Z with Bristle. This is quite a, quite a brave one. How are they gonna kill this Bristle with those two? They could get it, right? Big yeah, ravage they gotta kill the Ark coming in. Yeah. Going for the monkey. Up on the monkey. Gets the Bristle by the Bristle. <laughs> Bristle is just... So Come here! Mad. Give me a hug. I want hug. I promise. I won't bite. What's that? 780 damage. 700 damage right now on Bristol. Life steal a bit. Uh, this is... Is that the blade mail available? Not using it. Dyer's top tower is under there we go. Attack. 700 damage in that fight. Not with the right click. I mean... Oh my god. It's still following. Be careful here. <laughs> the spot. It's just gonna fly endlessly. Radiance bottom tower is oh, under attack. Is it gonna reach him? Is it gonna reach him? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <not> reach. <laughs> He's doing it on purpose now. Dyer's top tower is under attack. He doesn't want to stop. Oh, oh, oh wow. what is this? <laughs> Come on. Massive wave coming in bottom as well for them. Double siege. They should get the Rax here. No, no buybacks at all. Uh, Venge up at three, just Rubik and Tide and Venge to hold. Can they? I don't see them holding this. No. How do I'm you kill this Bristle? As well for three of them. They can't go for Megas, so it's tier fours or bot two, two, uh, bot tier three. Okay, they either Razor's up now. She is assumingly going to run in pretty quickly. Oh, it's going to opt to. Radiance bottom. Are these these buybacks all on cooldown from the side of Fox? The only one is not on cooldown is the Rubik. Does have enough gold now. But Viper, 1300 off. Ark, 800 off. There are only three people in this game. Okay, never mind. Vinge and Time now with timed buybacks no longer. Well, we actually. Time and gold. There are only three with actual buybacks this entire game. The rest are on solid cooldowns. Yep. Oracle just 300 gold away, but. They are looking to see how Ferocious is coming up. It's going to be up pretty shortly. Not sure if they kept track of the timer there. 18, 7 seconds. 15 seconds still can spawn. See how lucky they get. I'd like to see a bit of awkward and teeping is illusion top and bottom now. Continue that since he was doing early game. I mean, he was doing some big, big work with that. It was causing mass TPs down the bottom lane, screening them towers. If they're not going to be fighting soon, you know? Just cause nuisance, that's like pain in ages, just cause problems. Make people dislike you even more as an arc, you know? It's, it's the, what's the best thing of playing with them? Just like global presence you can't have, man. Oh, TP boots early on Heroes of that is such a nice... You know, been two guys TP into you know, tower and you just walk out, it's like, it's frustrating. There we go, he's gone bottom with one illusion, gonna find a little bit there. I do see he's queued up a Silver Edge, oh, so I wanna get rid of this person now. I can't there you go. Viper. What did it get rid of there? Scotty? Um, it, it, maybe uh, he swaps his TP boots out. Maybe he swaps his TP boots out until He's he wants really, the TP. really slow without it. Yeah. It'll be down at 280, which is... He's not even that fast. doesn't even have to goo him. Yeah, he's not even that fast with it. Yeah. But you can't really drop... What do you Scotty's not doing anything for him anyway. It's just that stats the slow is helping for the Veno and the Oracle. But Oracle's horse stop off him himself, but Veno just dies anyway, so you don't even need for the be able to keep him with you. And the silver does give half the stats that Scotty had, so uh, that Kilt. We'll see sixty minute items coming out soonish. Maybe that's his ready for. Ah, Roche is up. Moonshot on side bristle. They do scout it out with the spark, right? Oh, is good. Refresh a shard. Refresh a shard up on this Roche. Double wounds around tier fours. How do you get in there? With the bristle just standing facing his back to you. 
That being that being said, though, this Park and Viper are attacking from Fountain to Fountain at this point. Yep. They are going to push into it, although Monkey should, he should see this, actually. He must see them. He does see them. Like, uh, I don't think they see this. I think they're going to them too late. Oh, but that's down. Cheese on the floor still. The pressure. The pressure is picked up. On the arc. Monkey's dead, though. False one is coming out. Maybe the life steal. That's enough. This is our Oh, still a recon. Still a recon. Oh, yeah, there's a backline there. He's not losing HP. He's not. He's not losing HP. He does have the Aegis. Cheese is on the ground though, so Bristol might be able to pick this up. Oh, does he see it? Does he see it? Does he see it? Does he see it? Can't pick it up. Just one more use does have it. Ark is in the Satanic now. He's gonna be able to swap out. Sacrifice. Big sacrifice. Ooh, he's going back in there. That's quite dead from the monkey. Bristol going now, not enough. It does have so a little bit of it, but it's just not doing the work there. How did I put it? He swapped. He has a silvers now, but he doesn't have anything... He swapped seen. out... We have before. Oh no, how did, how did you miss? Uh, hurricane, Hurricane Bike. Uh, yes, of course. He has enough. Maybe he's got, he has yeah. the Bench Aura, and he has the Prestige Aura from the... Yeah. Oh, Vessel onto the Rubik. This Bench is saving big time. Break onto it, but that is now adult. And that's a, that should be a dead bench. Viper dead on bench the buyback. Back. Is a silence? Oh, that's a lot of range. So a little bit damage in that bristle. Uh, oh, she's doing nearly nothing there. Toss back his face boots. Does it, that stylizes the bristle part, so yeah, this is, this is a different bit. That's a bit of a guy. That's a bit of a guy. Oh, now up, satanic oh. both of them, but that's a bit. Does commit the buyback that though. Force. False promise almost did massive, massive work there. I don't think Bristol oh, realized it was happening. No. Oh, monkey. That's a bit late. Has to get out now. Could work. Can't commit forward. No buybacks from anyone. That's what you just, as a monkey, say it was zonal. I was zoning them off. And uh, it's a pleasure, Oracle. I saved your life. I didn't miss that at all. I was, yeah. If, look, if, if they were planning on chasing on a serious side, there was no chance for them there whatsoever. Yeah. Um, we asked about the Raiders' next item. We asked, I said it was going to be. Something else that it's not. It's looking good in app. I mean, fair enough. Very, very good. That's what we're talking about. AC. AC. Yes. With the Zap. BKB. Viper. Now, Spark against the world. Going on. Hundred man damage zone. Spark against the world. Raiders does have the name of this game. Needs to do something here. Bristol hitting the tower. Not even wasting the time with Arkwood. Yep. Just hitting the tower. Oh, come on, give him the last round. Heaven's coming out from the Oracle, actually. That's the other one. Oh, no. there, but that's the real one. Oh, it's done. That's dead. Yeah, that I think that might be GG now. Hey, Glimmer. That is going to be it. <laughs> I mean, Bristol, Bristol's not taking damage no. in these fights. Uh, I don't think, even with Tired and his Ravage here, they can. It's hard to stop it. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Worth it. Yeah, they're just going to ignore him. Yep. I mean, that just that, be... those long sustained fights just treated Roman Fox much better. Yes, yes. Gets it. It's the ego at the end there. But Roman Face, just that those long sustained fights with that bristle and that false promise coming in with Wukong zoning, it was just too much to handle. They needed to maybe find a better deal with bristle from far earlier. He got away with a bit too much, perhaps, and just at the end became way too much of a raid boss. Yeah. All of that damage.